And welcome back, everybody, to Glasgow Indoor Boards Club for the quarterfinals in the Scottish International Open 2024. And the treats don't get any better in the company box. I'm joined by Mr. Ian McLean. Hello, mate. How are you doing, sir? Good um, afternoon, everyone. I'm all right. Great to have you on, mate. I'm sure we'll discuss what happened in your, in your game today. Don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> you can leave it. <laughs> Take a rain check. <laughs> right, our featured game is um, two unknowns, really. Well, one unknown. <laughs> it's Mr. Hartley. We've got Mr. Paul Hartley's on. Yes, he's on again, folks. And he's taking on Glasgow player David Elliott, which I don't know noth nothing about. I'm sure Ian will fill us in. Yeah, it's a steady player, David. Um, played at Glasgow for a long time now. Plays alongside uh, Stuart Anderson. Uh, a couple of the ties in here as well, so uh, pretty decent player. Stuart doesn't team up with mugs. No, not at all. There is another qualifier going, <coughs> taking place at Hart, uh, Leicester. Jason's uh, down there. I'll, I'll try to bring you what the quarterfinal lineup is, etc. A, a few moments. Format is two sets of seven ends, and the sets tied. Then it's best of three tiebreakers. Uh, while we do, while these are doing this, I might as well flash this one up for you. There we go. So we've got seven qualifiers for the Scottish International Open. We've got uh, Colin Banks, who you'll have seen last week on at Carlisle. John Wilson qualified at Dolphin. We've got the mystery guest at Glasgow and Leicester. And uh, next weekend, we're down Hartlepool for a Scottish International Open qualifier and a World Singles. It's the first World Singles. There's a Scottish International Open, I think, going at Bromley. And then the last one is at West Lothian on November the 3rd. That's just in the lead up to the tournament itself. Yeah. So how's your indoor season gone, mate? It's, it's been a bit, uh, bit indifferent. Um, I've had a few, um, few near misses. Uh, the nationals in Scotland, um, beating the final two ball pairs, final of the triples, lost as well. Um, but also managed to bag the the inaugural mixed pairs with Caroline Brown. Right. Um, so highs and lows, obviously. Uh, qualified for for Potters for the first time earlier in the year, but. Uh -huh. um, performance wise it's, it's been a rough season form's not been great to be fair but it's just been one of those ones well we have one of them don't you so you write it off at the end of the season and yeah, you didn't become a bad player over there, so. no no I've been a bad one for a while to be fair get <laughs> over man. get over I've watched you but uh, no it's, it's, it's been it's, it's been decent yeah um, but yeah looking forward to a nice wee this is my last throw today so a week or two off before Getting stuck into the indoor. Uh, sorry, indoor. Outdoor. Why do you play outdoors? Uh, play at Blackwood, Blackwood Victoria. Right. Uh, just uh, council, private, private. Is it? No, it's pretty, pretty decent green. Green, all right. Yeah, pretty decent green. Just like most these days, though, just lacking a few members really. But yeah, we do all right. So, lads have had the trial ends. Mm -hmm. Down I'll just run you through the quarterfinal lineup. We've got uh, obviously this one. Hartley and Davy Elliott. We've got John Boyd, then Sam O'Donnell, Darren Weir playing Andrew Stratton and Stephen Scott taking on Stewie Irwin. <laughs> Quite a few new names in this. Yeah, the, the set has been. Um, it's good to see, to be fair. It is, yeah. yeah. We all know that it's. it's uh, Tough going these qualifiers, uh, and uh, obviously these ones being announced kind of short notice um, for the for the end of this season has probably caught a few folk out. Yeah, this time of year, obviously a lot of people finish the indoor, they, they like to get away on holiday or whatnot. So uh, it's allowed some new faces in. I feel there's been some good performances so far. It's a good opening ball. So how long have you been playing, mate? Oh, 
When did you old. start? About 16 years old? 17? No, I started when I was 12. Uh, my father got me started in the game. Um, right. So that's <coughs> 28, 29 years ago now. Right. That hurts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I was... I love the game, love the, love the competitive aspect of it. So, yeah, I think once you get the hook, and it's, it's a it's a worn favourite saying, me and Davey, Once you get the hook, somebody gets the hook, you've got them. Yeah, it's yeah, just it's trying to get them there past the image of yeah, that, that's what the sport bit. is. Yeah, it's still that stigma of being the old man's game, so to speak. It but is, yeah. and there's only the ball. Is that no different? Yeah. You would think, you know, when people they get the idea of quite, you know, and then get used to the social aspect, there'd be more people kind of keen to take it up, but, no, know, this, this certainly seems to have a little bit of a resurgence in the last couple of years. Yeah. Um, nice reply for David. Just feeling online, might look good as well. Mostly, Paul in decent form of late. Mostly just, just feeling once again last yeah, week down in England, but uh, certainly his form seems good. Been knocking around, uh, we played yeah, Paul. Super. Yeah, I don't. There was a slight chance there, it looked like he could possibly chase the ball for three or four, but backs himself. And plays a cracker. I think he's generally got a game plan, he just sticks to it now. To be fair, it's, he's playing against a home player, but he's, he's played here often enough now, especially on this TV rink. He'll, he'll know what it's like. And to be fair, that is usually one of the better ranks in here for consistent draw play. The only thing I've noticed is runner. Just seems as if it sticks. It just sticks, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well, needs to clear something. Be close to giving another one away. Yeah. Okay, the weight wasn't too far off the mark, just under the line. So it's easy done in that forehand. It is quite a that backhand, so it's a very large side. Yeah. I was talking to Stewie Yeo, and Stewie seems to think, is, is it heavy this way? <laughs> After the way I played this morning, I'm probably not the man to ask. <laughs> um, the closest I got to having my weight was a couple of running balls. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark, I tried to get his five seconds of fame there. He was, that's it, eh? <laughs> get a TikTok out of that. <laughs> Side, yeah, 
it did look like it was in, in the road to be fair on it. So Davy obviously got a game plan to stick to the, the side he prefers. Inside knowledge. Well down again, Paul met. Yeah. Imagine this might just tease David into changing. David playing with Tiger 2's, size 4. Paul's got his Evos out. Paul will be keen just to try and shut this down, change the angles a little. Pushed it, David. I don't just under the line yeah. again. Another. Strong position over on that side of the rink now. Paul will just be trying to get to the deepest yellow sticker here. Yeah. Nice old bad. We just the tips. Yeah, that's, a, that's an excellent ball. So do you prefer sets, mate, or do you would you go about, or do you, do you like the twenty-one up? I am a hundred percent against sets. Yeah. I against sets, against re spots. Right. But yeah, I'm, I'm very much a traditionalist in that aspect. I like yeah. a tw I like a twenty-one up with a bunt end. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those situations that you see why it was brought in to start with, obviously. For the likes of this for the TV, TV, and, TV and stuff. Yeah, you know, smashing effort there is very good here. Well, it's an excellent ball. We've made the set, made the shot. Me too, I think. Two, yep. Top of the second, he was a little bit hard done by and just made the one, but an excellent ball. But yeah, I mean, the, 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 the TV aspect of it for me is not really there anymore because. Everything's, you know, like this, it's streamed or it's, you know, red button stuff and the yeah. telly and there's not set time slots now that we need to fit a, a sets game in, so I'd love to see just a, a traditional 21 up and... Cause are, are you a national set, as, as you a national respots? Yeah, yeah, that, that, that was brought in um, a few years ago now after the British brought it in for the, the home out nationals. Right. Because um, ours is not down... You can sell burn ends. Yeah. But there's a time limit on for the Nash for well the, like three and a half hours time limit. I, I know I noticed that um the obviously the triple game had just finished yesterday, it was a three and a half hour time limit. Yeah. They only they only got fifteen, 15 ends. ends yeah. yeah, but understandable that can happen if you've got a few burnt ends and stuff. Okay. In Scotland we play everything's four hours. Right. Um so it's twenty one ends, pairs, fours, eighteen ends and the triples, but it's four hours. Um very with the, with the respots in there up here, very very seldom do you not get your ends in. Yeah, you need to be a particularly slow, <laughs> uh, pedantic player not to. Um, but no, I think uh, 
interesting. I, I assumed all home nations were re-spots in the nationals now, but no. Um, I think what what they do is you can if you if the time limit's up, you can burn that end as much as you like. A replay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just just that used to be the same in Scotland. Yeah. Actually, one year I was in the national pairs here uh, at Glasgow, um, and we, we ended up between myself and the opposition. We bumped, we bumped the last end six or seven times, <laughs> um, but I actually still managed to get the ends in in four hours. Nice. Um, but uh, it's. For me, that's a it's a bit more of a proper game, you know. Yes, yeah. The the, dr- the drive's an important part of the game, is, you know, and you're almost devaluing yeah, it, it, it. You know, just once the spots come off. Yeah, you know, you sh- people should you know, people. It's a skill. People are good at it. They yeah. should be rewarded for it. More often than not, these days, you tend to find some wayward draws lying <laughs> miles to the head on a respot and ends up being Aye. rag ball at the back. Yeah. You've got six of them there, and there's that rag ball. <laughs> oh, it's all right if you follow through like Sam did and get it with the jack. Aye. That was a phenomenal ball. Aye. Biggest turnaround I've seen. I mean, it was five down, so five down to eight up. Yeah, it was It was game ball, wasn't it? You think Nicky played the right? I've never, I've not, I've only seen a short clip of Sam. I've not yeah, seen, I've heard someone Nicky. saying I mean, Nicky played a kind of chat and why. He was last. He was, he was unlucky. I mean, he. He was. He did, didn't. He didn't get a grab on it, any of the balls because he was just trying to, basically, try to draw just a couple of feet. But he went out yeah. at the top. When, when you when you see the position of five or six of, um, you know, Sam's balls, they look that close to the ditch. That I, I know. If you're short of them, you're getting nothing. At the, right. but the moment you're by them, you're in the ditch. So you could, you could certainly see why uh, Nicky yes. would have played just to set a ball. One of the good things these days, obviously, uh, the, the IB are, are getting their streaming in there. And yeah, it was yeah. good that it, it was there to, to be streamed and for That's people right. to see. Because yeah. it was certainly one of the it will be one of the more memorable bowls for, for a while to come. I think you just got a bit of a head on it. Yeah. So why do you play indoors then? Blanta. Blanta indoor. So right. It's only a quarter an hour down the road for here. Is it? Because there is quite a few clubs sort of like in this, this area. The kind of yeah, Glasgow, yeah. south, uh, and into Lanarkshire. Yeah, probably within 35 to 40 minutes you'll get your hands on a dozen clubs. Well, yeah. Which is, it's proven a bit problematic. You know, so they're all starting to dwindle numbers wise. and Aye. There probably are just too many clubs now for the size of the area there they're catering for not nice to say but you're kind of hoping to be you're kind of hoping just to uh, not be the first to go you know and uh, hopefully pick something up you know if if someone else goes under but it's it's not the the right way to talk either you you want them all to kind of come back a bit I think like most things these days just the Cost of heating and lighting for a, a full winter. Oh. And if you if you're not using your, if you're only using your centre for the nine months of this or the eight months mm-hmm. of the season, you're still paying your heating bills. Them four months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're paying the bills. You're paying staff as well because the place still needs to get looked after and right. whatnot. Unfortunately, I think that's why in Scotland we've just uh, Perth, obviously Perth the home gone, of the, yeah. the old uh, Scottish Open, that's just went. Councils, any council owned facility, just they just seem to see numbers coming for 12 months if they can change into a gym or something else. Money talks these days. It is. The 
problem is the council don't see the benefits of the sport. You know, sorry, the, the age group, the mental side, and all that, and, and get the social social side. Yeah. They just don't. They just. Uh, they've they seem very blinkered in it. It's just bottom line money. Yeah. Especially disappointing with Perth. Obviously, we, we just held our, our last stage of the national finals up there a couple I of weeks seen, ago. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you know, the carpet is one of the better carpets. It's lovely. It's quick. It's swingy. You know, and just like that, that's that's no more. Because was wasn't Presswick one of the bigger bigger clubs one many years ago? P- Presswick, kind of around the time just before I started the game, and when I first started, that was the club the in Scotland. Club you know, that, yeah, the, 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 the level, the level just went, didn't it? Um, I well played, David. Yeah, I could reply. Yeah. Two good opening balls to the gents here. Just shy. We'll keep you up to date with the other scores in the quarterfinals. Let them get a couple more ends in. Just feeling again here, yep, Paul. Streaming both days next week at Hartlepool as well? Yeah, yeah, it'll be. Yeah, it's only 20 minutes down the road though, so. You get your own bed at night that way. Oh, God, I. <laughs> third ball still a couple of feet off the ditch so it could be tempting just to try and arrive here track the ditch or track the ball for a three oh false start oh. he's just I'll, t- well, I'll tell you what no shall I tell you what he did he picked the rug ball wrong up, ball up. <laughs> <laughs> he's so busy Pick the rug ball up. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we never got it on camera. <laughs> Butch. Get yourself that, that locked into the game. <laughs> well, it's certainly attacking. Is that, has he got enough in it? Just lacking the pace again. Oh, or a blade, one or another. <laughs> Should you see the ball? This is probably a chance David just needs to take. We're not going to get too many opportunities against Paul with two feet to add another, so he's on a good road for it. Just needs to run. And again, just drop oh. it short. But does square us up.
that's what that's what I said in the last game when Stewie uh, Irwin was playing Peter. Peter had a he was lying three and he had a comfortable draw for four. And you saw like against a good player, you've got to take that that, that opportunity because yeah. the rules reversed. Yeah, they're going to punish you. Yeah. Uh, and the seven end sets as well, you know, they're, they're short, they're sharp, and one that one shot here and there makes a huge difference. Right. And it, it, it probably did to Peter because he lost the first set, which meant he was chasing a little bit because he didn't count that ball and Stewie got back at him. Drifting under, but a good start. Yep. So if I give you a blank piece of paper and you had one thing that you could change in this game, what would it be, man? Oh. <laughs> <How do you laughs> would it need to be a big bit of paper? Oh, it might need to be a big bit. Uh. No, when, I, when I get going, like I can take some stopping when I get on a rant. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, I don't think... I love the game, I've played it for long enough, I don't yeah. think there's a lot wrong with it. You know, if we could just get rid of that stigma, Aye. you know, and just attract a, a slightly different Did audience. You? Yes. Aye. I think... I think there's a sport we should be targeting your ex-footballers, your ex-cricketers, your ex-tennis players, your ex-golfers who possibly the knees yeah. have gone a little bit. But they've got the competitive edge. Yeah, yeah. You know, those, those guys, late 30s, 40s, yeah. you know, the other guys, if you do manage to target people that age group as well, you know, quite often younger families, you never get the kids coming in, you know, and then your men, that's the sort of area where you've got a chance to then grow the sport again yeah. you know, and get you know get things going the right way but I suppose sometimes the flip side to that is when you've played golf, cricket and everything else for 20, 30 years <laughs> and then you, they're probably thinking of time for a break ah, yeah Yourself, what, what would your one thing be? I'm probably like you. You, you, pr you probably hit the <laughs> the nail on the head. <laughs> it's just the stigma. It's just the. I, I've always said it, and I, I'll still say it. We'll never get rid of it. We'll never mm. get that image changed within certain parts of the media. I think it's just something we've just got to just get on with it. Mm -hmm. Because there's not a great deal wrong with the game. I played it for forty odd years, and I, I still love it. Yeah, I still love it. Just quickly run through these scores. We've got uh, John Boyd is six five up against Sam O'Donnell on end number yep. five. Darren Williams six one up against Andy Strachan. Going on end number six, and Stewie Irwin is five two up against Stephen Scott. Okay, for oh, he has the result. just enough. A fraction thicker, he could have made three as right. well. Paul, a little dilemma. Play the shot correctly, see up the last. You get it wrong, you can find yourself two or three down. One down with the last balls. Not the worst scenario in the world. Shot more to push the yellow mate, or would you tippy tappy on the green? What would be your preference? For me, I'd, I'd be just a, just a yard in the forehand. You don't need to turn the yellow too far. You don't need to really turn it a foot by. You don't need to be too quick, but. By yourself to be good weight for it. Yeah. No, 
up. It's all in peace. Starting to move now. Coming down, I don't know if it's going to come down enough. Oh, that's not a good result. And to be fair to him, he played it probably the right weight. Yeah. Played it right weight and lost a two. Okay. Oh, maybe find himself slightly hard done by it. Be two down playing the last year. There's a few nice heads, and David, to be fair, has played some excellent conversions. Sam McDonald's just got myself one up playing the, the last first set. Uh, decent start for Davy again. Big effort. Kicking him out, Paul. Slam the anchor. Well, that's just coming up to have a look. Where Paul's last one's landed, might tempt Davy back on his forehand. Much luck in the com box as I did in the green. We just took to the backhand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is. I think it's a curse when, you, when anybody comes on comms because they'll catch me. <laughs> yeah, interesting now. See how Paul's feeling. Stick to the draw, touch the white for a pair. Tracking, have you got the pace in it? So it's down to if he's arriving. You'll be disappointed with that one. Yeah. Sam McDonald joined Boyd game. Sam managed to get up the first set. Mm. 
Maybe does not look right again. He's gone whistling. Right, so we work one from him. Try and see if a Paul. Yeah, he's. See how he's feeling. Either you have touch it for two or. That plant certainly gets some two or three shots. Looks like he's just playing the full drop. He's on the line. Oh, it's an effort. It's an effort. Oh, just like just failed. So, we don't want to do it. Six straight. Point to win number seven. Season fours up the last don't happen often, but to be fair to Paul, he's, he's set himself up a couple of good chances. Bit different length from David this time, though. Shot a little bit. Well, not the start you really hope for. Missed his line. Just the sort of opening you're looking for when you're chasing ahead. Dan and we also got over the line the first set. Smash an effort. Played it. Gentle. Played ball. Yeah. Seen much aggression so far, but see what Davies tempted him up. He's playing on rink one the last game. He's got to carry fire on him. <laughs> oh, you yeah, can let them go. Oh, can he not? Oh, just run out of the house. I'm going to pass again, Paul. He's in for three. He's in for three, yeah. I reckon you'd be cleaning them out. I'd guarantee my weight would be good with this one. Aye. Yeah. To be fair, he's, he's on two balls, I've framed it as well. Anything on them looks like it should at least take something out. Yeah. Maybe change of length, he's caught himself rather than Paul out. So, big ball here. Back himself to draw, and I must admit, I thought it looked quick out of the hand. I think he's, he's not happy with it. Well, surprise is all there. But Paul now lying appealed set, tries to go and draw for the, the win. 
think David just took himself all, didn't he? Just I was with you, I thought he might have went through it. Yeah, any contact between balls, it's uh, over. Just needed one out. Out the hand, I thought he looked decent again. Just should swing back. I think he's in. No, oh, it's falling. Yeah, yep. four, four it is. So, first set to Mr. Hartley. S seven six. Seven six. Even though I only had. Uh, Five through on the board. Last quarter final, Stuart Irwin's won the first set as well. Key for David now, just kind of clear the head, give himself a couple of good ends at the start of this set. To it's not the worst opener. Got the quarterfinal. Leicester calling. Could it come in, Leicester? The judges. Can we have the votes for the Eurovision Song Contest from Jason Parkinson? We've got the quarterfinal lineup. And we've got Adam Fuller taking on Finley Williamson. All Oki taking on Stephen Wade. Martin Shepherd, Shep, Shep, Sheppy taking on Aaron Johnson. And Jack Bird, my old mate, taking on Chris Miller. Really, I recognise there, but certainly Jacks. Jacks always done, not on the round, is he? Yeah, well played, Paul. Martin Shepherd generally does well in the OSC singles. Goes in all of them events. He's Aaron Norfolk, I'm guessing. It looks like he's attacking this. Certainly the inside line. Just to miss it now. Big question, Jason. Is have you got any bloody uh, markers? <laughs> God, I've seen your rant. <laughs> the only thing that was missing from your rant was the word fuming. <laughs> you wasn't happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Finley Williamson taking on Pubs are selling a, a bit of a pickle here. Lying through, but no real position. Can't cover everything. Interesting to see whether he just throws one deep or tries to change it. Well, that's not the worst ball, Matt. No. Given the way it's lying, I think that's about as good as you could have done.
again. Looks in the area. Has he got the pace? Oh dear. So the Scottish teams have had a lot of success this season, mate. What's the secret? Apart from the men's... Yeah. He's had, yeah. had all the trophies at one stage. At anyway, one stage, yeah. yeah. Well. The men kind of let us down a wee bit this year just to, to hold the clean sweep. But yeah. to be fair, is it, are you extra competitive up here? I, I think it's in the nature of the most Scottish folk, yeah. We, you know, <laughs> we, we don't like losing, but uh, this, the Scottish calendar as well is so busy. Um, you know, very seldom do you get a fortnight off with, right. without you know playing. Didn't they play something competitive? Whether it's you know the leagues or the nationals, um, it, it's it's good for building good competitive teams. You know, yeah. Yeah, good match play because you're always having to be on the ball. You don't get a month off or anything like that, really. So, and at the moment, we're we're also having a a good time with the juniors coming through. Obviously, the, the ladies and gents, the junior teams. I've done well the last few years, and you know they're, they're blooding into the both international teams. I think under seventeen one as well, didn't they? Yeah, or something. So it's I just think that the, 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 the creaming off the top players like yourselves who've had the success, and you, you're carrying them through. You know what I mean? It's 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 you're carrying them through and trying to beat them down at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> aye, aye. But again, with the set up in Scotland, you know they get the chance so early that to be playing top level stuff. Yeah. It stands them in good stead, and I mean, certainly a good crop at the moment coming through, and it bodes well for the next few yeah. years. Well, kicking them out, David. Are you going to yeah. finish? Clean Jack looks good. Yeah. Oh my word. <laughs> It barely looks a like gap big enough there. Yep. Yeah, give the England gents team their credit this year. They were they were quite impressive down at, at Falcon. Um, the rink car played. Um, so Louis Ride out, Neil McKee, Dawes and, and Skip McChesney. It's, it's, they were four lads were excellent oh, four, four great lads as well um, it, was a, it was a tough day at the office oh, that's were you part of the Abbey View win? yeah yeah you enjoyed it that was a good night not going to lie ah, no, <laughs> I thought it was much uh, yeah, um, no, uh, first, first in seven or eight years we had to uh, we had yes. to enjoy that one we certainly ah. did It's been it's been very fine margins I, over that spell where England was so dominant. I, I, there was only really one year I can remember where they beat us kind of convincingly. Yeah. Uh, Belfast um, three years ago, so the, the October year. Other than that, so it's always been you know single figures, ten at most type thing. And That, that's one thing I, I, I wish we could get televised oh the six ring the six ring yeah, I mean oh. I've, I've always fancied doing it but 
logistically it's very oh. difficult. It, 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 it would be a nightmare. You, you wouldn't know. you wouldn't get nothing behind. You could go at the you, you could slap your ring your cameras on an end ring and go in from the side that way. But you couldn't cover off six, it's just no. nuts. No. But that that sort of that, uh, that atmosphere, just feel yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. That that's what you want to get out there and folk yeah, to see. Exactly. Um that's what would give you the, the you know the different And that would help change the image. Yeah, the image just like of it. Of the boring quiet game. Because people don't realise. I mean I, I love going to the series and watch six ring series, which didn't get it started on the outdoor. But yeah, now that that would be that would be great to to see yeah. the, the atmosphere that Abbey View yes. um, last season was phenomenal. You know, it got a bit boisterous, and to be fair, I think the England guys loved it as much as we did. Yes, you, know. well, you wouldn't expect nothing else. No, no, you know, so, you know, as long as it's fair, and you know, you give it, you take it. Exactly. But uh, that's that's what we love. So another one to Paul, three blanc. David just needs to find himself a good steady one. Give him something to build on and get into the set. Good evening, Dylan. As you shout out, you wanted, mate. To be fair, Paul is been quite relentless here. Got back in the England team. Uh, Twelve-year gap. It's when you look at some of the post pedigree and his ability, you find it hard to imagine he's been out for that long. But, but but it's just again, it's credit and testament to the the strength of the England team yeah. and the the fact that very seldom guys pull out. You know, they, they seem to have had a very very settled team for a long time. Good home. Davey in the first set looked like he wanted to play the forehand in this direction, but he's just constantly getting forced onto the backhand yeah. and he's struggling for it. Just hasn't cracked the pace, has he? I think all his short balls have been on that side, and there's another one. Yeah, again, just falling the wrong side. It's not giving them much to play to. It's a lot closer here. How was your look? Oh, it's a bit of effort. And to be fair, I mean, it looked higher there, but it's finished just equally yeah. as far down. Seems to be making the trip. Quick update across the ranks, and Scott Weir having lost the first set to Stuart Irwin. 
four one up after three. Darren Weir, two one up after three. Sam McDonnell skating through the end. He's four one up after four. And line up here as well. We are both to come. Big move for John Boyd to keep himself in the game. Regulation draw, mate, or are you, you're looking down at the yeah, yellows? It's just a draw. You can't afford to get a bad angle, I don't think. And I've done it again. Oh you're no. shaping up for the forehand. Oh no. Hold on, I'll set you up. He'll knock about the park. Oh. I don't think he's played that with much conviction. He's going to go down with the washing, yeah. man, unless he gets a, a right old. No. So, another one to Paul. Fair start again here. He certainly found his rhythm now. I think we all go back to that uh, the last end of that first set, mate. Change of length, do you think was it a mistake or unintentional? Or I don't know. Uh, uh, it's certainly a big call to try at that point because, you know, they, they both guys have played a very similar length. Good reply, though. Uh, they thought at that point, you know, keep it off the, the T area, it's hard for Paul, you know. They'll take the respots kind of out of the game at that point. But then having done that, he, he you know, decided not to fire. Yeah. Uh, Just grazing it again, but two good receiving ones if you can pick it up. We'll be hoping to play something similar to that and just slide by. Oh. Saving grace there as he's got the front third, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, but he's also forcing David to turn the jack away from his bike poles. what you call 100% nothing. <laughs> Potentially still three down as well. Mm, Paul a little bit surprised how he's lying three. Yeah, David's been very unlucky there. He's given Paul position, not saved a shot. Oh. I'll be inclined to just maybe throw another one behind. You want the white? Oh, that's, pretty, that's as good as anything. I had visions of a, a same ball Sam played in the English triples. Jack follow through for the, for the green ball. 
But that's uh that's an excellent ball. Right, so our scoreboard, four blanc. Three down here. I think it's gotta be it's gotta be the big stick, I think. Got to do something to change it. Potential if he gets the chalker solid, he could almost put it onto the back one. Uh, he's gone quicker, a little bit quicker at it. Yeah, still not as quick as Will I thought. Is he going to bend? Is he going to bend? Oh, he's got a result out of it. Yeah, he certainly has. Looks like two. Well, he, need, he needed that. Yeah, yeah, that was game ball, really. Was not a mile off the target, but. Not done much different with the track here, so it'll be interesting to see if he maybe jumps on the forehand. Just a wee update across the other games. Sam McDonnell is off. Successful two sets to nothing over John Boyd. Good start there for David. Darren Rear is stretching away now, 5-2 after 5. And in the last game, it's 4 all after 4. So you're straight down the road tonight then, or? I'll unmute, I'll unmute myself. <laughs> <laughs> you set us up, you set us up. <laughs> Anybody watching, you set us up there. <laughs> yeah, three hours drive back, not bad. Hopefully the weather's all right when you cut across. It's a piggy road if it's wet. Yeah. Effort if you can just get up to his own. Well, Mark fancies uh, David for shot. Just a matter of arriving here for Paul. He's on a good line for it. Brave, are you, Davy? Mm. Got nothing to lose, really. Gets gets the glance off the ball and the white for four. He's looking at that. Well, he's looking at that plant. Plant, well, yeah. He's thinking backhand. Looks like you need to be kind of stiff on the back, but the plant looks favourable. We'll make him two or three if he follows through. It's one of those heads where he's not got a great shot to take Paul's shot away. No. 
They may be tempted just to reach this in the backhand. Oh, you've called a one net. Well, his backhand, they might not be reaching. <laughs> get it back, get it back over that one. <laughs> oh, a lot of averages, I was due to get one. You're right. And he's gave it a buzz. Still held on. Yeah, to be fair. He wasn't it was far away. Yeah, it was a great effort. effort. Good weight. Yeah. <laughs> Clear the road there, it'd be nice. Uh, made a nice three. <laughs> so, oh, favoured the backhand I in this direction. I think he might switch back up here. Yeah, he is. Yeah. After as if he likes it. She bend. Brave effort. <laughs> what? Yep, David hung on. One down. Two to play. Development over there in the striking weird game. Uh, now five all, playing the last end of the set. Yeah, well played, Paul. Yeah. Just arriving, but it was there to be sat on. Changing his hand again. Sure, that he's reaching. Yeah, something wrong. Line more than anything, yep. Often when he swapped to this bigger side, he just dr dropped them a bit. And neat. Well, David, are you going to get out? He's just still over. Himself chances. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he snuffed it out brilliantly again. Couldn't have placed that better. Yeah. We're just having a bit of a wander around. Right. Oh, 
Trunes are true and far between, really. Back yourself for a dead draw. Get second shot, two down playing the last. The worst results drop the two, isn't it? And yeah, it really is. It's you it's you certainly don't want it. Yeah. Anything aggressive fails, leaves Paul a chance to draw for game. But aggression it is. He's going to go up, he needs to get a grab off something. So, yeah, I don't blame him really. There's a slim chance he could maybe have got the two balls if he's missed the white. Striking game, Dan Rea set against him, draws a shot with the last ball. Well, he stops. All in, all in pace. It's not bad. He's in. He's in, yep. And that is a semi-final place for Mr Harley. So congratulations, Paul. Our lads, David, good effort. Thanks, mate, for coming on. Much no appreciated. No, I appreciate having me on. You might That's get good. roped in for the next one if you're still here. I'm only going out home and sit in my bum, so I might as well sit here. Oh, well, I've got you, <laughs> I've got you on the next one as well. Um, thanks, everybody, for listening and watching. I will... Uh, be back in about five minutes. The semi-final game on here will be Sam O'Donnell taking on Darren Weir. Um, we should be back in about five minutes, I think. As always, many thanks for your support. And this has been a wrong bias 